Let's start working on question 7 in this video. So suppose we have demand for seats at a football game given by this function and supply is fixed at 90,000 seats. Now in question A we want to find the equilibrium price and quantity using algebra and a graph. Okay, so let's do first algebra and we'll plot it on a graph right away. Now this is going to be a fast calculation because we already know the quantity. We have the price function depending on quantity, so we're going to uh, do some substitution. The price in equilibrium is just going to be 1900 that we're taking it from the function minus 1 over 50 times the quantity and the quantity would be 90,000 for that for that given quantity to fill it in what's going to be the equilibrium price. So if we work out the math over here that's just going to be equal to 100. The equilibrium price would be 100 and the quantity would be fixed at 90,000. Now how does that look on the graph? Let's plot the graph on the right side so we can see it. Let's do it over here like that, the price and quantity graph, price and quantity. First of all, let's plot the price function because that shows the demand function. What is 1900? That's going to be the price intercept, the maximum willingness to pay. That's going to be 1900. The slope is 1 over 50. So a downward slope of 1 over 50. 1 over 50 is a pretty small number, meaning that the slope is going to be quite flat. Anyway, this is not going to be accurate for the graph because the graph is quite small, but the slope would be uh, minus 1 over 50 or 1 over 50 in absolute value. And this is going to show us the demand. The price function is showing us the demand, the willingness to pay. This is the willingness to pay. And what we also know is that supply is fixed at 90,000 units, 90,000 seats. Now let's draw that. 90,000, so 90,000, let's say this would be 90,000. 90,000 seats and since it is fixed no matter what the price is we can only supply so much It's not going to be changed by the changes in prices. So it's going to be a vertical line Which we can interpret in the following way. in the following way for any given price We will have the same supply That's what it means that the supply is fixed and in our case when it matches with the demand with the willingness to pay That happens to be at the price level of a hundred let's say dollars per ticket. Hope this makes sense so that was with part A. Let's work with part B in this video as well. Now what happens in part B? Suppose the government prohibits uh, the tickets to be sold above $50. So there's a price ceiling, a price limit of $50. What's going to be the uh, demand in that case? How many consumers will be dissatisfied? Now before working out the math, let's just look at the intuition. Some consumers are willing to pay up to 1900 so this shows the maximum willingness to pay like just to get that first ticket someone is willing to pay the $1900. Now if they just decrease it, if they decrease it all the way to 50, if they decrease the, the price all the way to 50 so that would be let's say somewhere over here, where, we, where is it? That's gonna be on the, on the demand graph. At the price of 50 there's gonna be a lot of people who would be willing to pay more than 50 because First of all, the equilibrium price was higher than that and there's even uh, really big fans of football who would be willing to pay much more than that. So the intuition is that at the price of 50, the, you know, the producers of the event are not going to sell as many tickets, are not, uh, are not going to be able to fill out the entire demand. So let's see how that is going to work out. If the price is 50 and we substitute it into the function, we will have that 50 equals to 1900 minus 1 over 50 times the quantity. Now, if we work out the math over here, I'm just I'm just solving the calculations faster because I want to keep the videos shorter so that we can stay more focused on the things that matter. And the math is just the mechanical part of it. So if you work out the math over here, we would have that 1 over 50 times quantity equals to 1850. And if we work, if we solve for quantity, the equilibrium quantity at that level would be equal to 92,500 seats. So at 50, at $50 only, the demand would be too high because it's quite cheap. So many people would like to buy the ticket, but then there's not enough capacity in the stadium because we only have 90,000 seats, meaning there's going to be 2,500 people who cannot go to the match because of that. The change in quantity relative to the supply that we have would be 90,500 minus 90,000 equals to 2,000. 500 seats. We cannot, we cannot satisfy 2,500 consumers who would be willing to pay even a higher price than 50 to get to the stadium. But because it's limited at 50, so many people, so many more people are willing to buy it. People that did not buy the tickets at $100, but now they're buying it at 50 and they're distorting, they're 
they're distorting, they're affecting the consumers who would have bought tickets at $100 and even higher, but now they just can't. There's too much, uh, too much demand for that level. Let's leave it like that for this video. In the next video, we're gonna go through part C and D.